Well, hello again. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back again with some rosette video action. Okay, so this is the latest one. Finished it today, I guess. As usual. Um, it's kind of fun, actually. Perspective, eh? Uh, as usual, I put a light layer shellac, though it's not in a total finished state. Close enough for show and tell. Uh, maybe I'll switch it around. Hang on a sec. Okay, oh, here we go. Okay, let's have some close-ups. Uh, if you've been watching my exciting Rosette video series, you may notice that, ooh, this is quite a bit different design-wise. And you'd be correct. Get the long shot. So this one is um I, I would hesitate to say it's looks very similar to a traditional rosette, but it kinda does. It's uh, more linear, like circular linear. Um I don't know. If you're familiar with them you might know what I'm talking about. But the thing is it's also very um random as well. You can see, um, okay, let's get a close-up. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so the br dark brown and light brown, with the dark brown dots, that's coconut. The, uh, the woody bits in between is uh, a wood, Thai wood, or local wood called Mairak in Thai. And it's an extremely rare wood. Um, I have a piece here that my friends P. Ad and Gung, Gung Kung gave me and Piad said, oh, this might be the only piece you ever see of this stuff. This piece he had lying around. So I use it at certain times and like one of my guitars, I made a bridge using it and stuff like that. Um, and then the little bits in between the white bits are the back to the maple, you know. There's a little bit of padok in there as well. Oh, like the, the circular stripes, the, or, the sort of orangey color, that's padok or paduk, padok. Yeah. The only thing is that these little white bits, I've got a bit of an ant infestation <laughs> above my studio. And so the ant eggs look a lot like those little white bits. So that's sort of what I'm seeing right now. Probably shouldn't have mentioned it. So after I do this, I have to get back to working on that um, problem, we'll call it. Um, yeah, anyway, that's that quite thin though not as it'll be thinner when it's finished yeah I quite like it it's quite unusual I'll probably go back to doing my other more swoopy ones but this is fun to work on this one took quite a long time you know like the, the little dotty bits like the little white bits like all those are in, individually put in eh? so each one is done one at a time kind of the only way to do it properly and on this one, what I did, sometimes I'll like put, use white glue and um, kind of glue the little bits individually and maybe put some glue in, in a space and stuff them in there. But in, in this case, what I did was I put all the bits in uh, dry and then after that added some high viscosity CA glue, otherwise known as crazy glue which just sort of sucks down into the holes and stuff. It works quite well uh, for certain things. And uh, for something like that, it works really well, I find. Okay, let's flip it. Yeah, so anyway, there you go. It's the latest one. Don't know, I have too much else to say. I guess I'll start on another one soon. When an idea comes to my mind. I'm, oh, I'm trying to get the sun here. See if you can see how gray my hair is. Oh yeah, look it. <laughs> it's so gray when the sun's on it. It's like, like the gray shines like a, a beacon but then when I'm in the dark it's darker but it looks light my hair was always dark right so it looks light because of all the gray anyway whatever talking about hair when I should be talking about rosettes anyway hope everyone's doing great and uh, was pouring rain earlier now it's sunny so what can you do life's pretty good ciao